Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you two thrift flips. I have uh, an old chair that I will upholster and paint and make pretty, make it fit into my decor and also a couple of old French doors are ready for the dump really but I won't let them die, not, not just yet. So stay tuned for this. For my first DIY, I have this chair, not at all bad looking, but not my taste. It's too sherry, dark uh, color, I'm not a fan of that, and um, the cushion neither. So first off, I'm screwing off the seat and just put it aside and this is how it looks on the underside looking pretty neat so it will be quite easy to upholster later so I'm starting off by sanding uh, the whole chair it's quite glossy so I just needed to mat that down for the paint to adhere properly so I'm just going over it and once I have uh, sanded it all, I will clean it off properly so it's ready for painting like you see me do here, all nice and clean. Time for painting and I have chosen a khaki green color. It's um, water-based and it's a satin finish. I'm just uh, working my way all the way around the chair, painting away. The first coat is never good looking, so definitely need more than one coat here. This video is also part of a challenge, Flipping Friday, hosted by Jamie over at Border Bananas. She has also a second channel, Border Bananas DIY. So if you're not familiar with Jamie and her channels just yet, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what she has to offer. I will leave links down in my description box to her channels as well as to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of Thrip Flip Inspiration. Time for the second coat and I just wanted to show you it's so satisfying with the second coat to get the nicer finish but I ended up actually doing three coats on this one because it needed a tiny bit of touch up even after the second coat. While the chair is drying I'm starting with the upholstering of the cushion. And I wanted this fabric here, but I didn't have enough, just a little bit too tiny. So I chose this fabric. I like it a lot. And I think it will look good together with that green color. So I'm just laying it on top of the cushion. I will not remove the uh, existing one I will just put this one on top and uh, I have quite a large allowance so I am sure that I have enough to wrap around on the back side and fold it mm -hmm. 
I place the seat on to the fabric and make sure that the pattern on the fabric is nice and straight and I start by just putting one staple on one side stretch the other side so just one staple on each side like that and now I'm working myself out to the corners but I'm leaving the corners for now making all sides ready first and every now and then I just turn my seat around and make sure that it's nice and neat and the pattern is still nice and straight So now it's time for the corners. I stretch the fabric and make sure that it's nice and neat, not too many wrinkles, just one fold maybe. And I have a bit of uh, excess fabric that I just cut off and staple the rest into place same on the next corner just keeping it stretched and stable away cutting off and continue all four corners I'm not a professional by any means and you can see that I'm sure but I get the work done and I'm happy with the result in the end. And the last staples down and uh, my seat is ready. Looking good, I think. Now on to the chair and I want to embellish it a little bit. So I have printed out a text. It just says Harmony. And I have a bit of a carbon paper so I'm tracing the word it's not very clear but I can see just about where I need to paint and I'm just using a white acrylic paint and um, painting away Once I'm done with this word, I will just put the seat back onto the chair and I am done. Et voila, here it is, my lovely chair. I think it turned out great. It fits perfect into the space I'm going to have it in. Uh, where I will work with my herbs and uh, I have painted a lot many things with this color in here so it fits perfectly in love the fabric on the seat and uh, yeah what do you think tell me leave me a comment down below
for my second DIY, I have these old, old, old French doors. Look at them. They're so dirty for one thing. And um, someone has eaten them, I think. I have tried to fix them around the glass where bits and pieces had fallen off. It will never look like a new door, of course, but uh, I will try to fix it somehow. My husband has started to take off the hinges and all the other hardware as well that we won't need anymore. Not at this point anyways. Look at this, not in a good shape. And here you can see it's totally rotten on the lower part, so we have to cut it off. And we will cut off a bit on the side there as well. My hubby is working the big guns today, just cutting off the lower part of the door, the damaged part, like that, looking better already. And the side as well. And now it's my turn to sand off the whole door both sides with my electric sander and prepare it for painting but before I start painting I also need some wood filler or a lot of it I would say there are holes a bit here and there and I don't mind a few of them, but the real damaged parts I tried to fix. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika, and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, high end dupes, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative. Please join me. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And let's be friends. I have started to paint and I'm using the same khaki green color with the satin finish, water based. It took me a while to paint them. I didn't want to tape off the glass parts because uh, it's so easy to remove any paint that comes onto the glass just with the razor blade. So I will do that later on. I will have the same green color on both sides, on both doors. And I needed two and a half coats to get the finish that I wanted. And the half is, uh, yeah, I touched it up a little bit here and there after the second coat. These doors will be placed in the opening between my herb room and the grandchildren's playroom that we are working on at the moment, renovating. And here is my hubby again, fixing the doors into place. And we did that before they were totally painted. I just painted one of the doors here, as you can see. If you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, of course, for more inspirational videos. And here is how they look. They're looking pretty, I think. The top part we have not finished yet. You will see that in an upcoming video where I reveal my herb room and the existing hardware didn't look very nice so i have to get new ones we have those beautiful hinges that i love looks good doesn't it tell me what you think of my creations today did you have a favorite let me know in the comments put up some beautiful fall wreath on the doors looking pretty you can see how I made these wreaths and some more fall inspired wreaths in my next video if you want more inspiration straight away just hit that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here just click and enjoy
Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.